Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my Partners in Cream project pan update. This is a project created by Steph Lyons and Dylan, or Outward Processing is her YouTube channel um, here on YouTube. And yeah, it's been going on for three years now, and this is my second year that I have joined in on the project, where you basically want to project pan your cream items, basically anything that is not powder. So it's a lot of fun. And yeah, this is my... Uh, my update so if they interest you then stay tuned let me start with the palette that i am working on so i'm working on this face palette from elf this is the electric mood one and i have finished now this highlighter it is all gone i can't get any more out and i'm super super happy about that i've also expanded this bronzer quite a bit as well it's like going up to the top there and honestly, it's very thin around here. I imagine the pan next time is going to be really, really big. Um, and then, yeah, I've been working on the, these two blushes, but not as much as obviously these other two. So just to talk about how many times I used this. So I used the highlighter six times before it was done. This orange blush I have used six times as well. This one is probably the one that I'm going to be working on the most between the two, just because I think this one is a little bit more of a full blush for me. Um, and that's also present in the amount of uses. I only used this once this last month. The bronzer I used 10 times. Um, I am working on a few other bronzers, or just not working on, but like, you know, I have them in other projects. So I haven't gone into this one as much as the previous months, but still, I like to see the visible progress on it, and I'm really happy about it. So hopefully next time I can see more of a dent in this blush. It definitely has gone more down more than this one, but still no visible sort of dent or anything like that. Um, so I'll try to work on it. I mean, yeah, I worked on it a little bit more this, this month and I am into peachy blushes right now. So I think that, fingers crossed, I could get a little bit of a dent. Not a pan for next time, but maybe more of a dent so you can see. The next item that I have is the little Mini Luminous Putty Primer. Now I did show this in my empties video for April so if you want to see that then go check it out but I have actually thrown it away <laughs> I um I usually am pretty good at keeping it for my updates but I for some reason I thought I'd already talked about it in a video so I I got rid of it and I don't have it here to show you but it was basically just a luminous little mini putty primer and I have uh, finished that one that one I used four times before it was done so it really didn't have too much left on it but yeah I don't have the product anymore so sorry about that next up I've got on my list is my lipstick this is the Maybelline 207 pink fling um they're like color sensational range I don't even know if this is still something you could buy I have no idea I haven't bought a Maybelline lipstick in a long time but this is what it's looking like now it does look quite nice and some more not too much left of it I used this 10 times this last month it does look a bit gross but you know what it works fine still and uh, I don't use it as a cream blush at all I just use it as a lipstick but it could definitely be a beautiful cream blush and I really do like it. So I'm going to miss it when it's gone. Um, I imagine maybe two more months, three more months, and this will be gone. I'll try to push it for two, but I don't think that's likely. Possibly in three months. Um, so that's super exciting. Next up, I've got an eyeliner, eyeliner that I've been working on. This is the Jouer um, Crayon Eyeliner. It's an eye definer in the shade Mure. So it is a brown, and it's looking like this. I do need to sharpen it. Um, yeah, it's gone down a little bit. I have to see it on the piece of paper. I can't, like, I can't remember what it looked like, but it definitely has gone down. I have used this seven times, and I have sharpened it a few times during that because it is a very, very soft formula. But yeah, I'm super excited because it's definitely <laughs> getting down there. And, um, you know, it's been, it's been a very, very long time since I have actually finished an eyeliner. I think, yeah, the last time I think I mentioned it, it was like when I was a teenager and that's the only one time that I had a tiny little eyeliner <laughs> because then I stopped using eyeliner and I have so many so I really need to get through them or declutter them and this one is actually pretty nice. I mostly use it just to tight line but I have been using it a little bit on the upper lid as well but but today I had it just as a tight line, not, nothing else. Um, and I like the fact that it's not black, I like that it's brown and has a little bit of shimmer to it. It's just a little bit more... I don't know special that way and you can use it for other things if it's just black sometimes black sort of I don't know throws me off a little bit 
not a huge fan of it. Next up, I've got my ColourPop highlighter. This is the coral one. It is the Coasting um, Super Shock highlighter. And this is what it's looking like now. So I do feel like it has changed since the last time. I feel like the, the pan has expanded slightly. Um, I've used this 10 times, so I would hope that it looks different, <laughs> but I don't remember on the picture what it looked like, but obviously you'll be able to see. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this one. It is more, it's like the other one that I have is more of like an icy pink. And this one just has that beautiful like coral sheen to it, but it's really, it's really not so noticeable. So you can, it's just perfect for this time of year, honestly. I actually didn't even put it on today. I don't have any highlighter on today. I should have put it on, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this and I just need to get through it. So yeah, my goal is to finish it off. The other one's taken me quite a bit of time. So I imagine this might take me the whole year. I don't know. It's really easy to, to like hit pan on them, but there is quite still quite a bit of product in here. And um, it's pretty pigmented. There's nine grams of product here. So I don't know if that's a lot in comparison to other ones. I haven't really studied it, but yeah. All right, and then the last one that I'm gonna talk about is my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I have used this 12 times. Um, when I first rolled it in, it was too dark for me. I actually have it on today and I have a tan and it works absolutely fine. So I think I'll be able to finish this pretty easily. There is more windowing now and I feel like I'm probably, I don't know. I, I could actually just take off the lid because the lid, as I said in previous videos, is broken. Um, yeah, so I'm about... No, I actually am about halfway actually. So where that windowing is, is where I am, which kind of makes sense. I just thought sometimes you would be underneath that. But yeah, so I've got about half left, um, maybe slightly less. And I think I'll be able to finish this definitely this summer. That's my goal to just get it out. I really do like it. And actually it looks really nice now that it matches my skin tone a lot more than like a month ago. So yeah, I really hope that I can get through this pretty fast. Um, this one's in soft beige, so I really, I really should, and I have actually since I've purchased this one, another one, I need to stay away from anything that says beige because it's always going to be a little bit too warm for me unless I have a tan. I really do have quite pale skin, so beige is just not my color, um, but right now it is, so it'll be good. Um, I'm not really sure. I think I have actually one other foundation that's kind of this color. Um, and then obviously I have my BB creams that are all this color. So if I run this, run out of this and I'm still got a tan, then I'll have something else that I can use. But yeah, I like using that. And then I do pair it with another foundation. I've been pairing it actually with the e.l.f. foundation right now, just to lighten up. I've kind of been using this as a concealer just underneath my eyes, just to brighten it. And it's been working fine. Um, so yeah, that is my update. Nice and quick, short little update as always. I'm not going to be, oh, actually I am going to be rolling something in. Oops. Yes. I don't know why I was going to say that. No, I, I am going to be rolling something in because obviously I finished that primer and I want to roll in another primer because I'm really on a mission to finish my primers or just get them down. Cause I had, I think at the start of the year, maybe 15 or 17 primers and nobody needs that many primers. So I'm really like trying to get my primers down and I got my confidence up. So I actually want to roll in this Oprah primer because I really don't like it. And I've been using it in my current shop, my stash project 10 uses. Um, and instead of rolling it out, you know, well, I will roll it out of that project when I do my update. But I really kind of just want to finish it. This is um, cool as a cucumber. I don't know if you have other shades, but this is what it looks like. I already had tons of windowing on here and I haven't even, I've only used it like a month and not even every single day. So I don't know if they lie about how much product is in here because I am a little bit confused. It says it's 30 mil. Usually when I have a primer that's 30 mil, it takes me a long time, especially if it's an e.l.f. primer, that takes me so long. Um, and this one I feel like is not taking me long at all. Like as soon as I used it twice, I could visibly see some windowing. And I don't know, that surprised me a little. So um, yeah, I wanna roll this in, I wanna finish it. And the reason I don't like it, I think it's an okay primer, but the reason I don't like it is the smell. It just, it smells like a cucumber, but with with some skincare in, in it. And it's a little bit sickly. It's, uh, I mean, it's just not a pleasant smell at all. Honestly, I don't even know if it's even off at this point because it, I haven't had it very long. I got it in my Ofra 
cohorted subscription box, box last year and I hadn't had it very long and I just opened it now like a few weeks ago so I don't know but I don't I don't like it so I'm gonna really be rolling this into the project and just you know trying to finish it up and um yeah, that's it. That is my update. I am done now. Thank you so much. Watch everyone else who does the Partners in Cream hashtag if you don't already. And um, yeah, thank you to Sublines and Dylan for creating this project. It's a fun project and, you know, allowing us all to join in. It's a lot of fun. So um, go check out their channels down below in the description. But yes, there are so many other people doing this and um, yeah, you can find everyone, I think, through the hashtag. And I think there's a playlist. But anyway, Thank you so much. Like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you next time. Bye.